everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome in if you are new. My name is Dream and today is gonna be another great video because I'm giving you guys a real, real plant house tour. So if you guys are new to the channel, I love me some faux plants. They're just easy to take care of. You can add that little pop of green anywhere. You don't have to worry about, does this space have enough sunlight? Any of that stuff, you can just throw them anywhere. And trust me, I have them everywhere throughout our home. But during this time of year, I am trying to bring in more real life plants, but I need them to be low maintenance. So I'm gonna show you guys, give you a little tour of our home and show you the low maintenance plants that we have added to cozy it up. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let's get started. Room space and I have this little vignette uh, on my coffee table that is anchored by a woven basket. And I thought for the summertime and springtime, I wanted to add a little bit of greenery over here. So I added in this guy. The only thing, I don't know his name. So let me give you a up close look at this. If you know what type of plant this is, it doesn't even say on the bottom, please let me know. But I love him, I love the little, um, stone pot that he's in. It's just basic brown and he's super easy to take care of. Water him once a week and he is good to go. Just make sure, I mean, your plant, you may need to water, water it more. You don't want to overwater it, but you just want to make sure that that soil is kept nice and moist and doesn't really dry out. So love this little plant. Um, easy to take care of, but yeah, if you guys know the name, let me down. No doubt in the comments below. Next up, y'all, is this guy, and he is probably one of my favorites. It is this Pothos plant. He's looking good, beautiful, love him. He has long, long, long trail, and a long trail in the back. Both of these plants, he's also, I have kind of an open floor plant in my home, so they do have sunlight. There's like a huge window over here that you can see, and then the plant at the coffee table, front of a huge window, so it has that as well. But the pothos, um, I just love this beautiful wicker basket that it came in. I just use one of my Walmart trivets to kind of catch the excess water, but super easy to take care of. I love the trail, just so pretty. And um, yeah, water this one once a week as well. And this little guy is doing very well. And I told you I love faux plants. He's over there with a little faux plant, but looking good. Has his American flag already for this season. Next up is this beauty. And she is my longest friend. We've had her, I think, It'll be a little bit over a year when we moved into the house. She also has her little wicker basket. And then we have one of just those clear trays. I got it from Lowe's. She sits in our entryway on this little bench. Here, there is a little window right there, but I just love her. Same thing, water her once a week. I can't have plants that are high maintenance. It just isn't gonna, isn't gonna work out well for us, but love this little beauty, um, and she is thriving in this spot, and she's actually one of my biggest ones, so we do have some new growth coming in for her, but love this little beauty sitting here. So not direct sun, but she has some sun that comes in from our front porch, which is covered. I wanted to show you these guys. I do have plants on my back porch and my front porch, but I wanted to show you these because last year I had um, them. I love cacti and I kept them in the house, but I moved them outside this year just because I, we need a little bit more space for them, but I love them. And they're in these little Walmart pods, but these are pretty easy plants to take care of if you are um, having them indoors. Sometimes you water them once a week or every other week. You just need to have the soil where it's not like super, super dry. And then last up, we are in my daughter's room and she actually has a few plants that she has been cultivating and working on in her room. The first up, she planted this at school in a cup and then we transplanted it to this pot. But it is this little guy. Um, they planted beans. 
She's sitting right over here. They planted beans. So this is, we actually have gotten one sprout from it, a bean that um, was in a little pod, but that we're gonna replant. But she has this one, we have a little stick holding him up. Um, these, she has this little spritzer. I feel like we spritz them every day just to keep the soil really moist because it doesn't um, let out a lot of water from there. And then they are sitting in directly in front of a window. And then this one, she planted two weeks ago, I wanna say, two and a half weeks ago. We went to a little park event in our, in our little town and she planted some tomato seeds. So she planted four seeds and she has four little sprouts. And this one as well, we just keep it misted. We do need to purchase underneath, I like to have this, just if we overwater it, that excess water, can go there but we try to mist it every day and we need to buy a little thing for the bottom but she decorated the pot and then she also planted the seeds and they have just sprouted and this has only been two and a half weeks so she's doing a very good job and they just sit in front of the window but that is it guys that is our little plant house tour and if you guys are not new here you know i have tons and tons of faux plants throughout our home just to add i love the pop of green i love greenery it just cozies up a home it makes it feel lived in but if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys very soon with a whole new video i hope everybody's having the most amazing summer bye everybody